Good day, good people. It's your girl, Jenny Moran, with Misfits and Madness. I'm back. Y'all, sometimes I have to take a break, you know, from spreading the message because I can tell that, you know, some people may not be ready, but guess what? I got people reaching out to me privately, so I know that I'm reaching people, and that is exactly what the mission is about. You know, everybody ain't gonna like what I'm saying, and I understand that 100%. It's cool, because do you, boo? Do you? It may not be for you, and it ain't gonna be for everybody. I already know it ain't gonna be for everybody. I got that message a long time ago. I must have been to say something powerful because this thing don't want to stand up straight. <laughs> and I'll never had that problem, but I'm having it today. It's all right, though, because guess what? Your girl ain't a quitter. Damn. I'm back, and it's going to work out now. So this next message that I want to share with everybody, um, it's just kind of going to be about... Let me see. So, I'm just not getting deep into the spoken word. I normally write my poetry and recite it, but whenever a powerful message come over me, I just have to go ahead and just, you know, speak my mind freely. So, this next message is just going to be about love and how to use your tongue in a powerful manner towards the people that you coming across that you claim that you love and that you uh planting seeds with right there's a way to do that uh to where it will come off positive and there's a way to do that to where it is definitely not going to come across positively and i don't know if a lot of people understand about actually sowing seeds but sowing seeds works two ways people there's two ways that you can do things in this life, okay? Good, bad. It it's really is just that simple. So we have to watch how we're using our tongue because a lot of time when we're using our tongue, I know people say, oh, um, they know what I mean or they know how I meant it or whatever. But there's this thing called the Webster's Dictionary and words are already defined. The devil's trick is to go ahead and try to redefine these words but ain't no way to redefine something that's already concrete okay good people meaning if you are calling people out their name or if you calling people things that don't sound good or in the dictionary they're really not good then you will reap what you sow you will reap what you sow all right Meaning, I hear a lot of people to call people names all the time. So, this one is going to be about speak speak through love. Speak how to speak on love and how to speak with love. All right. I hear a lot of people, and I'm going to talk about the children, y'all, because they are future, and, and it's been in my heart for a long time, y'all. You know, God definitely using me because I don't have no children. And I definitely love them all. And it's like, dang. How can I, the person that don't have no children, father, talk to people who had kids growing up and stuff, and they actually understand where I'm coming from? He said, baby, just do it because once upon a time, you was one. And it's just that simple. So I'm going to talk about me and my past, y'all, and how I was raised and grew up by my mom and my dad later on when he came along in my life at 16 years old. All right? So in my house, my mom never called us no names like, you stupid, you idiot, uh, you foolish, you dummy, uh, you N-word, you uh, effort, you this, you that, anything but a child of God. See, I hear a lot of people, they be calling their kids out their name completely. They be calling them things that I be like, oh my goodness, did I just hear what, what I heard them say that to their child, somebody that they gave birth to or somebody that they... Uh, raising up and I be thinking to myself dang I'm so glad that ain't my mom or my dad because my mom or my dad didn't call me out my name like that y'all if I'm honest to God my brothers tried to talk mess about me because guess what I had these teeth even when I was a little girl peeps and when I tell you they would call me master splinter because I loved to eat cheese and my mama she heard it once and she said no nah, don't you talk about my daughter 
Y'all better get around with that. Please get around from here with that. All right? So she ain't never let nobody talk about me at all. She ain't let people call me out my name, y'all. And I appreciate her for that because one thing I knew is the difference between love and how a hater would talk. My mama bestowed that in me, so I never let people talk about me. People be trying to talk about me and think I'm a laugh, and I be like, you ain't funny. Talk about yourself and, and laugh at you because don't talk about me because that's what haters do. My mama taught me that, so shout out to you, lady. And anytime people who know me, they say, dang, Jenny, you too serious. No. You think you funny and you trying to blow on me? Nah, go away from me because my tongue, ooh, it can get sharp, y'all. And I don't like to use it. I don't like to use it because I understand that words, they hold power to them and, and people, they will hold. They will go home later and they gonna ponder on it, y'all. So be careful what you say to people because they may be acting brave and tough, but deep down inside, we all have insecurities, y'all. See, I know what I look like, and I'm proud of it, too. I feel like uh, can't nobody tell me nothing because I don't feel like what my father did to me, what he created was perfect. All right? So when people talk about me, I already be knowing you insecure inside and you hating on me for certain. And I be like, dang, that's sad because I'm really a cool person. If you took the time to know me, you wouldn't even be talking about me and trying to expect me to laugh at it, too. Man, you tripping. Go on. Get away from me with that, people. I'm not playing. Anybody who know me, they be saying, Jenny, she crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. But that means to me that I'm different. And that's how I always took it because most people to me are crazy. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let me get back on the subject. It brings me to the point about how parents be calling their children's name or out their name and wonder why they grow up and act like what they've been called. See, you plant a seed in your child mind and that's how it grow. I've watched it time and time again, y'all. I'm telling you what I know. See, the one time my mama, she called me out my name, y'all, she was 100% correct and it changed my whole life around. I was young, adolescence, I was a real troubled teen. I had a lot going on in my brain and I was hanging with the wrong company. I was sneaking out the house and stealing clothes, trying to look sexy. And one day I got caught, y'all, and my mama, she wasn't pleased. By the time that I got home, what she had waiting on me was the police. Yes, she had the police waiting on me. She said, ain't no hoes gonna live in my house, y'all. If you gonna stay here, you gonna come clean. If you gonna act out like that and you gonna be running in these streets, you can go home with them to juvie. Y'all, I broke down crying and I was hollering. I couldn't believe it. My mama had never called me out my name, y'all. I'm serious. So when she said that, I knew she wasn't playing. So I said, Jen, you better get it together right now or here you ain't staying. So I didn't want to go to juvie, and y'all, my brother on here, and I know he laughing because every bit of this story is true, and I can remember like it was yesterday, okay? So my mama, she said, you ain't going to stay in my house acting like that. I was still a virgin, y'all, but my actions didn't match. So my mama checked me immediately, and I turned my life around. Then we had to move because, like I told y'all, I was hanging with the wrong crowd. So I'm grateful that she moved us because ain't no telling where I would have been. So to my friends that's on here listening, I'm sorry, but yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> I was hanging with you and we had a pact and it wasn't going nowhere. And none of us ended up doing the pact and we probably should all thank my mama for that. So anyway, from there, my mama had only called me out my name once. I couldn't imagine my mama calling me out my name every day, y'all. That is horrible for a parent who claim they love you to be talking like a hater. I don't like to hear people call their children out their name in front of me ever. I don't. 
I don't like for people to be ugly and mean and hateful with their kids. I be like, man, do you know what that is? That's a total blessing. That's a part of you that's going to live. I don't have no children, y'all. I don't have no legacy. But guess what? I'm building one for everyone to see. I mean, every word, every word that I speak because it's children out there who listening and they need to hear me. You special. Stay true. Drown out all of that noise. I'm sorry that your parents didn't tell you that you special and that you don't need to be called out your name except everything but a child of God. That's horrible. These kids, man, a lot of them don't even pray. They ain't praying before they wake up. They ain't praying before they sleep. Be careful what you're bestowing in your children, good people. Because like I said, these seeds you're sowing, they're going to grow up and they're going to be people. They're going to run the world, y'all. And guess what? I ain't trying to go to nobody uh, nursing home. Everybody know them people up in there. They treating people wrong. But guess what? Can you imagine the children that we raising now? Especially the ones that been called out their name and they got hate in their heart. That's horrible, y'all. I'm telling you. Stop doing that to these kids. Don't call them out their name. Don't, don't do that in front of them. It's horrible. I hate to see it. And none of my friends do it. I want to shout out to my girl Candy. If you watching, I'm proud of you. See, Candy, she always raised her kids saying one thing. They smart, they intelligent, and they sweet and respectful. I ain't playing. I don't hang with nobody that be acting like that. And they be calling their children all this and all that. I got some people in my family, but guess what? I don't like it when they do it, but my family, that's what it is. And I hope they listening too, which they may rebuke this and that's sad. It's okay because I'm still going to say it. Yes, I'm talking about you. If it hits you in your heart, you need to look in the mirror and wonder why is that. Don't be mad at me because you're really mad at God. I'm just speaking the truth and I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm going to shout out another friend. Jig Jig on the scene. She got two special children, y'all, and they growing perfectly. She don't call them out their name. She don't tell them they ugly. She don't cuss at them. She just tell them the true stories. Okay? It's a fact. I be listening, and I don't like hanging with nobody that's talking about their children as if they not somebody. Okay? So, shout out, G. That's another friend of mine. I have another friend. She finally became a mom. Shout out to you, Mims. I'm so proud of you, chick. When I went to visit her, her daughter was just so sweet and innocent. You could tell that she was surrounded by love and peace and comfort and bliss. I hear her talk about good things about her daughter, and it makes me feel warm inside. And I'm just like, dang, I can't wait to see how she grow up. Because I know she's going to be powerful. And I know she's going somewhere. Alright? So, those are the people that I'm going to shout out. Because that's all I can think of right now. And those are the people that I kind of surround myself with most of the time. Because positive energy is magnetic to me. And negative, get from around. I, I, I don't like to be fake at all. And I don't like... For people to be hating their child. That's sad to me. It's sad to the world. You sowing negative seeds. If your child grow up to be a criminal, the things you call them probably led them to these things. If a child is told, oh, you ain't going to be nothing. You ain't nothing like your, you just going to be like your daddy. Guess what? You just planted a seed and now they have an excuse to take that path. So good seeds. Tell them you're going to be better. You're going to do better than your dad. Tell them you're going to be better. You're going to be better than what I am if you a mom. That's the things that children need to hear to understand that they can change. 
to break generational curses that's been on them that's going to cause a strain. Something to fight against the tide and the world. Give them a comfort, a place to go somewhere safe they can call home. Y'all, I love everybody and that's going to be my spoken word. I hope that it comes across in a way that everybody understands that using your tongue and teaching and bestowing in these kids how important it is to use their tongue wisely too. I hear so much things like, I, I don't even really understand the new language at all, but I do understand the power of the tongue. And I do understand that when a child is being broken at such a young age, how are they going to really, who's going to tell them that they're special? Who's going to tell them that they can be anything they want to be? Who's going to really push them every day and not plant these negative seeds? Because, see, me as a child, I remember people saying things about me very poorly. Oh, she ain't going to grow up to be nothing. She ain't going to graduate high school. She's going to have a bunch of kids. She, uh, she, she it, it, it was just uh, things that I heard. And these adults still to this day don't know that I'm talking about them. <laughs> but, because I don't have to mention it, but I definitely rebelled against it. And these same adults that said that to me, they be saying, oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And I just be like that. That's just how I be, y'all. Because one thing about me is if you talking negatively about me and I remember that much, I'm going to be kind of take your words with a grain of salt because I can't allow people to break me. You know, I can't allow people to break me. So, kids, if y'all listening, don't allow people to break you. The same people that saying these negative things rebel against what they saying. Then when you get older, try not to take too much in that people say because of the fact that if you taking in too much of what people say to you, you're going to care too much. And then that's how you'll be easily broken. But if you taking it in with a grain of salt, meaning you just taking it in and just saying, oh, okay, thank you. Not to be hateful about it or not to care too much about it, but just to say, oh, okay, thank you. And then still be yourself. Then you're not going to be easily broken. You're not going to be easily going up and down like a roller coaster. People won't be able to control your emotions, basically. Control your own emotions. Control your own thoughts. You know, and if you a child or somebody who was a child who was talked about and getting called everything but the name of God uh, or a child of God, then I'm sorry that that happened to you. And I hope that you prevailed against it and put it behind you and just love these people anyway. Because the devil don't mind and don't care who he used. He jumped from person to person, y'all. And he'll use the closest people to you to try to get you off your game and off your journey. Stay close to the one that matters the most. And just realize we all people out here. And we can all be used for good or bad. That's all I'm saying. That's your girl, Jenny Moran. Checking out. I hope that. This seed's been planted in a proper way, and people understand there's power in your tongue. So when you're raising kids and stuff, and you call them out their name and stuff, and doing all this in front of them and stuff, and you're wondering why they not motivated and everything, and not going up. From what I can see, the kids that's been going up is the ones that was bestowed in. There's a difference in love and hate. That's all I'm saying. And I ain't saying don't be honest. But you don't have to break your child down. What good come from that? I'm out on that note, y'all. But like I said, I'll be back. I'll be back. And I know the lessons that I'm saying ain't always easy to hear. But guess what? Just look in the mirror. Guess what? If it applies to you, you need to understand why would you care what I'm saying? If it don't apply to you, then you should be happy and be like, dang, she talking to somebody that need to hear that she encouraging some child out there. She encouraging some parent out there that maybe, hey, they saying and doing the wrong thing as a child who was once listening to stuff like that and really don't 
deal with these people because of that i you know children don't want to deal with people when they become older because of what they heard as a child i'm just being real if you love them love them it's just that simple i'm speaking for the kids 